Hey guys, good morning. I'm here with Cleo. Let me flip you guys over. Sorry, I have the sniffles. Um, this Cleo, I think we're on day two. Well, she came in the other night, so maybe a day and a half. I can't keep track. We haven't done much. We're on our walk here. This girl has not um, really been um, been walked at all. Uh, we have a person coming in, and um, she was barking at dogs and, and people and stuff before. Um, this is our second walk that we take together. It's been um, thundering and stuff, so I haven't, like last night, I couldn't, um, I couldn't do that. I really, really wanted to, especially, hi, good morning, especially before bed, but um, I didn't get to do that. I really uh, wish I had. I'm probably going to opt for the treadmill. Um, tonight or tomorrow that's just because we've got a lot of fireworks that are starting already in the evening it's just getting really loud so yesterday it started raining and just with the rain alone um, she was flipping out so um, last night must have been a freebie <laughs> for what's to come because um, I did not hear her uh, flip out in, in the kennel last night and she is in the one that she start one of the ones that she started to rip she's in one of those uh, with a muzzle on so she doesn't um, inflict um, pain on herself so that's what we've been doing uh, nothing like obedience or anything like that we've just been working on her being as calm as possible so um, me taking her on walks is just uh, helping relieve some of that anxiety build on our relationship um, she's a real checked out girl like you walk her and she is totally oblivious to my existence and what better street to work her on than where I live it's really loud lots of traffic um, once you go out the neighborhood in the neighborhood you don't really hear much but once you walk out the neighborhood it's loud she's uh, you know averse to noises big time sensitive so I've been drowning, um, I've been helping her by drowning the noises out, so she listens to W9 News all day. <laughs> she could probably tell you all the current events that are going on in the TV. So, that's how I call her, you know, I don't call her by her name. So, and she's on a 2.275 prong, that's what I've been uh, walking her with and checking her in, and if she barks at people which she has not, then, um, yeah, she looks so happy. This girl looks so happy, and she loves her walk, so she is happy um, on her walk, so, and she has not. Oh, she's a fly catcher, too. That's what she's doing. She loves catching flies, and as you guys know, I can give them tapeworms. If she catches the right fly. She, I saw her catch one by the sliding door to go to the bathroom, and she ate it. So, yeah, I won't have any flies in the house with her. <laughs> oh my goodness so last night I think was a freebie for what's to come but uh, she's not taking any food for me yeah, drinking water and stuff and I put a couple in her kennel she'll eat those but um, won't take any food from me so we can do any type of um, more one on one very personal you know get in touch vibe with each other type of work so everything that we do is centered around spending some of that built up junk that she has hey Laura and um, um, teaching her how to be calm in the kennel she doesn't know how to do that she's totally afraid of it she has you know the confinement issue uh, with all of them so don't really matter which one you put her in she's gonna have the same the same thing so now she's under the bench there looking for um, for comfort so let's go let's see if I can get her untangled here come on and we can uh, get some of this walks on the way back so we are on that two mile stretch that I do before it's too hot and I'm going to show you how checked out she is well she's actually looking for me a little bit more but she's really checked out like she's uh, if I stop if I stop she's like I don't know that you're there. Good. And then uh, I'll wait for that coming in. That's what I do. You guys are going to wobble here a little bit because I'm one-handed. And I have a bad finger. <laughs> Which is looking good, by the way. I can bend it a lot more going to therapy and all that. But they all care. 
but she's totally um, checked out. Not as bad as the other one, as the other day or day one or whatever you want to call it. There's some poop bags here. These are the worst poop bags ever. You know, I'm a poop bag snob. So she doesn't, uh, she's just too anxious to even check in. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah, see? She won't do none of that. Just gathering up her leash here, keeping it short, and, and flipping around the other way. She has like no acknowledgement that I'm even that I'm even here. So that's what we have. If you guys have any questions about how Cleo's been doing, I think last night was a freebie, but I don't want to be negative. Um, I did not hear her last night. She did not throw any fits last night. Night before last, I think she threw about three fits. Okay. Um, what do I do when she throws those fits? You have to remember that what I'm saying has, has been tried and done. I've done it. Done it thousands of times. She is on e-collar. Low level for any startup of the cycling. Any startup of any cycling, which means her starting to have a party in the kennel. The initial, the initial parties are her really sitting up, stress panting, spinning, um, looking around. Way be, it starts way before she starts looking around uh, the kennel for an exit. And that's when I start my conversation with her. Um, on e collar, nothing, um, nothing um, out of the like out of this world, nothing that's hurting her. That's not what I'm looking for. However, the e-collar works in a way that you have to match the intensity. And if she's like, if I'm asleep, I can't catch a start of a cycle or if I don't hear the baby monitor, right? So I have to go get her out of the kennel, either um, bonk, leash correct, or give her some kind of energy, uh, finger touch correction, something like that. So she calms down, I put her right back in the kennel. I make sure she's calm before I, I leave and go back to either bed or whatever it else I was doing. Usually when I'm awake, I can catch her cycling because I keep the baby monitor on me all the time. Even in the shower, I take the baby monitor on me. So she's um, wearing an e-collar 24-7 and it's on a comfort pad. So she can't get like pressure spots. She can't, you know, like the collars don't burn as people say, but they can get pressure sores if left on too long. So she does have a comfort pad with it, which is especially for dogs with like short hair, little dogs. Um, and um, if you need it for prolonged use. So there's other comfort pads for like long hair dogs too, but she doesn't have it, it works it works enough uh, with her hair she doesn't have like really thick thick fur she has that terrier stringy um stringy fur so all right that's all i wanted to say is i know i told you guys i would be telling you what i've been doing so i'm sorry i'm sniffling i'm out of breath it's just allergies i guess i feel a little run down um with all the health issues i've been having lately so Thanks for checking in and keeping tabs. You guys send me uh, messages and texts all the time. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you pray, just say a prayer. All right. See y'all later.